Under the banner of Global Gateway, we propose to bring over 45 billion euros of high quality European investment to Latin America and the Caribbean. Over 135 projects are already in the pipeline, from clean hydrogen to critical raw materials, from the high performance data cable network to producing the most advanced mRNA vaccines. We are also close not only to finalizing some historic trade deals, but also to modernizing the agreements we already have. We are done with Chile. We will be signing Tomorrow we are done with Argentina. We had the signing. We are looking forward to Mexico. In the case of Argentina, to this crisis in Cascada, the effect of negative generated by a debt with the Monetary Fund that my government would never have assumed, but that it confronts with great effort and deep responsibility. We are doing that. But all have to know that in the time we are living, no structural debt can be removed from the poorest or postpone the dreams and the future of the countries. The problem of the external debt also torments many armed countries of our region. The United States and the Caribbean are the region most endowed in the world. In the case of America Latin and the Caribbean, the region is the most endowed in the world in development. An association exigs that both parties benefit in the agreement. When only one benefits one of the parties, that stops being an agreement and starts to look more like a joke. Of course, Ukraine is not the only theater of war or armed conflict, which ravages people and destroys lives and livelihoods beyond the immediacy, immediacy of the hazardous battlegrounds. These two demand peaceful resolution. The people of Haiti, the Palestinians, populations in the various parts of Africa, the Middle East and Asia, have more immediate challenges. Russia must not be allowed to succeed. It will be a recipe for disaster, for multilateralism, and a rules-based system. We also need to make our international financial system more just. The current system is simply not fair. So we would like to engage more with all of you to reform the international financial architecture to close the gap between the rich and poor, 